<coughs> How's it going, folks? Uh, as usual, just give me a second to try and get sorted. I'm not uh, very professional at these live streams. Let me just see if we've, uh, if we're actually going live here. I'm going to see if I can get a few people on board. Uh, this is backed by popular demand by, when I say popular demand, maybe two, three people wanted to see this live stream. Um, they were in Finland and in the United States and stuff, so I don't know if they'll join us tonight. But uh, if you joined last night, we're building this uh, Tamiya TT-02. Um, I've never built a Tammy before, so I was struggling a bit last night, but hopefully I'm a wee bit more prepared tonight, and uh, I'm just going to get to it. Um, so it's up to you guys. Let me know if the camera view is okay. I'm actually doing it on the phone tonight, so I've no idea what the quality will be like. I don't know what the sound will be like. It's up to you guys to let me know. Uh, who have I got? Matthew Allen. Hello, Matthew. How's the form? And... Uh, Hopefully I'm going to say this right. Is this Macy? Hopefully. Hello guys. Is the picture and the sound okay in this, is it? Before I go any further or if I maybe need to change devices. Just wait to see if I get a few comments here. Like magic. <laughs> right, okay. Well then, I'll not hang about. I'll see if I can move this camera around to a better position. Uh, and we'll try and put it down on what I'm actually doing. So uh, bear with the camera shaking for a second. I try and get this sorted out. Definitely not very professional when it comes to this sort of thing. What do I think? Is that a good enough view? Can you see with me working on this here? Oh, it's a Polish name? Oh, I wish I knew how to pronounce it. I don't know it's Macy or Mackey or what, but uh, hopefully I don't offend you by my pronunciation. Oh, we have Yuka back on again. Matthew, yes, me and Ellie's doing grand. Ellie's going through exams at the minute, so she's been busy doing uh, her exams. She's in her last year of school and then possibly on the university, so that's what she's doing. But, right, let's see. I'm just home from work. And as far as I'm aware, we have finished this page. And we are on... To what? Da, da, da. Yeah, the motor. I think the motor was the next thing to do. Um, that's us down here. Right, but see that? I'm trying. Is it? Oh, I wish you could pronounce macaque. I don't know whether that C is pronounced like a K or an S. Yes, I will let her know. Good luck. She's up beavering away up the stairs there now. So anyway, I'm going to see if I can get the bits for this and we'll go ahead with it. Uh, looks like we need this plate. We need the motor, which is over here. One of you guys been at... Who's that, Harry Pierce, Pearson? What about you, Harry? Yes, you're dead right, I am an idiot. I'm uh, now a professional YouTuber, in case you didn't know. Making an absolute fortune. So far, I've made, in the past two years, nearly £50 on YouTube. What about that, eh? Nearly ready to leave my job. You doing any racing at Renix? Harry, have you been? Welcome to the Ulster Model Car Club. 
<laughs> yeah, in my dreams, you're dead, right? In my dreams, who knows? Maybe, maybe after this here, I'll have uh, that many followers. I'll start making whistling diesel money, like six thousand dollars a day. Who knows? Right, we're looking for a. I did try and sort out all the parts a bit better into their alphabetical order. So. Uh, what fit do we need? This is D9, so that's D, that's 9, so that's us here. We're going to Miyako next year. From what, what I hear, they're a good truck. I built that one of Andrew's and I've never got to test it yet, so I've had a few people may ask me when I'm going to test that. You know, I'm going to have to bust his ears. And uh, torture them. They get a rip of that thing around the track. I hope you have all uh, got a few hours to spare here because, as I say, this is going to uh, drag on for a bit. Brad's running it now, is he? Well, you're going to have to tell Brad that I need it off him. Just even to get a few laps in. Right. Manual says take plastic thing off the end of motor, which I've done. Uh, what ways is three screws? That sits down the way. This sits what way? Like that. Uh, So, and we've got screws three by eight millimeter and they're not counter sunk. So, what ones are three by eight? Those black ones, I would say. Am I racing this Saturday? Um, do you know something? I don't know what. I'm actually on this Saturday. Something on. What am I doing? No, I'll not be. I'm away this Saturday. I'm away Saturday and the Sunday, unfortunately. But I do intend to get over. Um, I think Curtis or Lee had said I can have an end of a car just for the day to see how we get on. I actually would love to get over and do a bit more filming because I said got good views and uh, it was quite interesting. But definitely, I'll not make it this one, but I will make it the next one. All being well. Right, where do these screws go through? It doesn't mention anything about thread lock on these. Anybody know? Do you need to put thread lock in these things? actually feel embarrassed this is going to be a very long slow drawn out process uh, I had thought about just continuing on and building last night but you know what if I have to take a few another few nights over doing it we'll do it um, if everybody starts getting bored and doesn't want to watch let me know um, I don't know what a good length to do it would be whether to do an hour at a time and just see how we get on or what to do You're racing the Tamiya M07. Is there? Can you race the TT02s there as well? Can you? Or does nobody really race race them there? I do not know why, but clearly that's the wrong screw.
Let's pop this off and see if we've got the right screw here. We do, I'm clearly in the wrong hole. That's never a good thing, is it? Right, what way does that go again? That goes to the that goes to the bottom. That one goes in there. Yeah, I don't know, don't forget. You guys all know who I am, and I haven't a clue who anybody is, so you definitely need to make yourselves known. If you ever see me anywhere, let me know, because I say it's uh, embarrassing whenever you, everybody knows who you are, knows your name, and they expect you to know who's who, and we're just clueless. I really wanted to have a go that last day when we were there Curtis did offer me a go but I was too embarrassed it looked very competitive and I just thought for sure I would just make an absolute idiot of myself but uh, I suppose all you gotta do is just go with it and see see how it goes Right, what have we got next? Pinion. This will be that. Do these things all need thread lock on them? I would imagine you would need to put thread lock, wouldn't you? You know what, I'll just put a wee bit on it. Let's grab a thread lock. Well, we'll see. I'll maybe have a go with the the TTO two round the track. This Saturday is your first time out with the M O seven. Have you been round our G race there ordinarily, or is this your first time? Racing at the track. And the motor has a wee flat on the shaft. So you tighten, you make sure you've got the flat lined up with a screw. Give it a nip up. What else does it say to do? Bend these tabs in. You've been there a few years. What did you race before that? Right, so. Now on to installing the motor, which must go in there. I think I need to move that motor out of that, that mesh. If you can see it there, it just doesn't lined up very well. So I'll move that pinion out of here before that thread lock sets. Go out another wee bit actually. What would you know? Went too far. Do you know what? That will do. And that's perfect if you can see that there. Right, what's next? Cover. This is what we're looking for here now, which is D3 
and three screws and a couple of screws underneath. Let's look for D3. Which will be what? Where's D3? Oh, that's us. That's us here. Those wee cutters are a good job to cut flush and it saves you doing any trimming at the plastics. And that goes what way? Is that on camera? Do I need to move the camera a bit? Is that better right here somewhere? Something holding that up doesn't seem right. I think that's us now. Yeah, the club's all different classes. I heard people saying the fronty. Uh, if that's right, is, is that a new class? Um, that seems to be the way to go. I think that's the one. Uh, was it uh, David Holmes and Lee Coggan raced and they really enjoyed the fronties. And don't forget this actual car if you haven't watched the other videos this car that i am building will be going on to uh, my random competitions website that'll be something like two pound a ticket once i build it go and have a little race with it uh, it's going straight on to the website For one of you guys to win. Do you know what? That doesn't say to put that screw in just yet for some reason, maybe. That's the one later on. It only mentions three, so we'll take it out and put it in here. Is the camera bright enough? Can you guys see on oh, my iPad? I have, although I have it turned down, it looks very dull. Might need to reposition the camera. screws on the underside must be here for the hold the motor that says there are the MA2 screws the same ones hello there chicken nuggets again I can't remember if you were on last night but this particular car that I'm building after I give it a race or two is going to go on to my website for sale or for uh, onto the competition website so I haven't decided the price probably usual two pound a ticket and somebody will get to win this very car and be able to go and visit Renix model tune for the winter series 
and from what I believe also visit uh, Ulster Model Car Club for their winter series too so worth a punt for £2 a ticket but more details to follow closer to the time Now, that is not turning and I'm sure it must be because of the motor I actually should have tried that first probably shouldn't I wonder should I take those screws out and see does that motor spin because the drive train feels very tight I don't know if you can hear it but there sounds like there's a helicopter flying about outside here That feels way too tight. For my legging. Any of you guys built the TTO2 before? Should that be that tight? That does not feel right. One of those are different holes for different pinions. That says a 22 tooth pinion. trying to see 